When was the last time you actually had a pleasant conversation with your friends? Let's be honest, most of us have forgotten the importance of socializing, and it's time to change that. Welcome to Snap Reads, and today, I'm here to talk about why it's important to hang out with our friends and how often should we do it. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the real importance of socializing and the benefits associated with spending quality time with our friends. So grab a seat and get ready for an interesting discussion. The Benefits of Regular Social Interactions now that we understand the importance of socializing, let's explore the specific benefits that regular social interactions can bring to our lives. One of the primary benefits of socializing is the positive impact it has on our emotional health. When we spend time with friends, we have the opportunity to share our thoughts, feelings, and experiences. This exchange of emotions not only helps to validate our own experiences, but also fosters empathy and compassion. It allows us to step outside of ourselves and gain valuable perspective on our own lives. Socializing also provides a sense of belonging and community. When we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals who share similar interests and values, we feel a sense of camaraderie and acceptance. This sense of belonging is crucial for our self-esteem and overall happiness. We thrive when we feel connected to others and have a network of people who support and understand us. Regular social interactions can also enhance our cognitive abilities. Engaging in stimulating conversations and activities with friends challenges our minds, keeping them sharp and active. Socializing exposes us to different perspectives and ideas, broadening our horizons and expanding our knowledge. Through these interactions, we learn from one another, gain new insights, and develop our critical thinking skills. The ideal frequency of hanging out with friends. Now that we understand the importance and benefits of socializing, you may be wondering how often you should be spending time with your friends. The ideal frequency of hanging out can vary depending on individual preferences and lifestyles. Some people thrive on frequent social interactions, while others prefer a more limited social calendar. It's important to find a balance that works for you. The first step in determining the ideal frequency of hanging out with friends is to reflect on your own needs and preferences. Ask yourself how much social interaction feels fulfilling and energizing to you. Some individuals may feel recharged after a weekend spent with friends, while others may require more frequent socializing to feel emotionally satisfied. There is no one-size-fits-all answer, as everyone's social needs are unique. Another factor to consider is the quality of your social interactions. It's not just about the quantity of time spent with friends, but also the quality of those interactions. Meaningful and fulfilling connections can be made in a short amount of time, while spending hours with acquaintances may not bring the same level of satisfaction. Focus on building deep and meaningful relationships rather than simply accumulating a large number of friends. Additionally, your lifestyle and commitments will play a role in determining the frequency of hanging out with friends. If you have a busy schedule or demanding responsibilities, it may be challenging to find time for socializing. In such cases, it's important to prioritize and make intentional choices about how you allocate your time. Find a balance that allows you to meet your social needs without neglecting other areas of your life. Factors to consider when determining how often to hang out with friends. When deciding how often to hang out with friends, it's helpful to consider a few factors that can influence your socializing frequency. Proximity is an important consideration. If your friends live nearby, it may be easier to schedule frequent get-togethers. On the other hand, if your friends are scattered across different cities or even countries, it may require more planning and effort to maintain regular contact. Distance should not be a barrier to friendship, but it can impact the frequency of face-to-face -face interactions. Your stage of life can also influence how often you hang out with friends. For example, individuals who are single and without children may have more flexibility and freedom to socialize frequently. On the other hand, those who are married or have children may have more responsibilities and commitments that limit their availability. It's important to be understanding and adaptable to the changing dynamics of friendships as life evolves. Lastly, consider the nature of your friendships. Some friends may be more low-maintenance and understanding, allowing for more sporadic interactions without any strain on the relationship. Other friendships may require more consistent communication and face-to-face -face time to thrive. Assess the needs and expectations of your friends and find a balance that works for everyone involved. How to prioritize socializing in a busy schedule Finding time for socializing can be challenging, especially when you have a busy schedule. However, with a few strategies and intentional choices, it is possible to prioritize socializing and make time for the people who matter most. First, be mindful of your schedule and commitments. Take a closer look at how you spend your time and identify areas where you can make adjustments. Are there any activities or obligations that can be minimized or eliminated to create more space for socializing? By consciously managing your time, you can create pockets of availability for social interactions. Secondly, embrace the concept of multitasking. Combine socializing with other activities to maximize your time. For example, invite friends to join you for a workout or a walk in the park. This way you can enjoy each other's company while also taking care of your physical health. 
Look for opportunities to combine socializing with tasks or hobbies you already enjoy. Lastly, communicate your priorities and boundaries to your friends and loved ones. Let them know that socializing is important to you and that you value their presence in your life. By setting clear expectations and sharing your intentions, you can foster understanding and support from those around you. This open communication allows you to navigate the complexities of busy schedules while maintaining meaningful connections. Ideas for socializing activities and gatherings. When it comes to socializing, the possibilities are endless. Here are some ideas for activities and gatherings that can help you strengthen your friendships and create lasting memories. Plan a movie night. Invite your friends over for a cozy movie night at your place. Choose a selection of movies or TV shows and create a comfortable and inviting atmosphere. Don't forget the popcorn and snacks. Organize a game night, get together for a fun-filled game night. Whether it's board games, card games, or video games, competitive and cooperative games can bring out laughter and friendly rivalry. Choose games that everyone can enjoy and cater to different preferences. Schedule regular dinners or brunches. Set up a monthly or quarterly dinner or brunch date with your friends. Explore new restaurants or take turns hosting at each other's homes. This allows for quality time and gives everyone something to look forward to. Plan a weekend getaway. Organize a weekend getaway with your friends to a nearby destination. Whether it's a beach trip, a hiking adventure, or a city exploration, spending a few days away from the daily grind can strengthen bonds and create unforgettable experiences. Attend social events and gatherings. Keep an eye out for social events happening in your community. This could be concerts, art exhibits, festivals, or even charity events. Attending these events together can provide opportunities for shared experiences and new adventures. The role of technology in maintaining social connections. In today's digital age, technology plays a significant role in maintaining social connections. While face-to-face -face interactions are invaluable, technology allows us to stay connected even when physical distance separates us. Social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter enable us to share moments, thoughts, and updates with our friends and loved ones. These platforms facilitate communication and help us stay connected to the lives of others. However, it's important to use social media mindfully and avoid falling into the trap of comparing our lives to others. Paragraph 2 Video calls and messaging apps have become essential tools for maintaining long-distance friendships. Platforms like Skype, FaceTime, and WhatsApp allow us to have real-time conversations and see each other's faces, bridging the gap created by physical distance. These tools enable us to nurture relationships regardless of where we are in the world. Online communities and forums provide opportunities to connect with like-minded individuals who share similar interests and passions. Whether it's a book club, a fitness group, or a hobby-based forum, these online communities allow us to connect with others who share our enthusiasm and can provide valuable support and advice. The Consequences of Social Isolation and Loneliness While socializing has numerous benefits, the absence of social connections can have detrimental effects on our mental and physical health. Social isolation and loneliness have been linked to a range of negative outcomes. Studies have shown that social isolation and loneliness increase the risk of developing mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. The lack of social support and meaningful interactions can contribute to feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and low self-worth. It's important to be aware of the signs of social isolation and reach out for support when needed. Loneliness can also have a significant impact on our physical health. Research has found that individuals who feel lonely are more susceptible to chronic diseases such as cardiovascular problems, weakened immune systems, and even early mortality. Social connections and support provide a protective factor against these health risks. Furthermore, social isolation can hinder personal growth and self-discovery. When we limit our interactions with others, we miss out on opportunities for learning, expanding our horizons, and gaining new perspectives. Socializing exposes us to different ideas, cultures, and experiences helping us to grow as individuals and broaden our understanding of the world. Finding the right balance in socializing. Socializing is an essential part of maintaining a healthy and fulfilling life. Regular interactions with friends can boost our mood, reduce stress levels, and improve our overall well-being. The ideal frequency of hanging out with friends can vary depending on individual preferences, lifestyles, and other factors. It's important to find a balance that works for you and prioritize socializing in your busy schedule. Whether it's a movie night, a weekend getaway or simply a coffee gate. Make the effort to invest time and effort into nurturing your friendships. Remember, the quality of your social interactions is just as important as the quantity. So go ahead, reach out to a friend and make plans to create lasting memories together. Your mental and emotional health will thank you for it.